guys, it's Ryder here, and some pretty exciting, long-awaited, long-lasting news, finally, I, I'd say. It, it's a fist pump for Teen Titans, for the Titans, for the CW, for Warner Brothers, for DC, for Belanti, for Jeff Johns, for, I don't know, anybody, right? This is a win overall, because just today, it was confirmed that we are actually going to be getting a live-action Teen Titans series. It's official, it's not in any rumored production fake stage at TNT or any of that bullshit. It's not being called Blackbirds or whatever the hell that was. This is Titans, and uh, this is going to be primarily led by a character known as, I don't know if you know him, he, he's a nice man, his name is Dick Grayson, Nightwing, yeah. And this is being produced by Greg Berlanti, being written by the big Jeff Johns, and I, it's like Akiva Goldstein or Smith, or I don't know. Uh, the only names I truly, I mean, uh, no disrespect to anybody working behind this, I really do think Thank you for making this like a real thing in reality where you don't have to like, you know, imagine it. But the bottom line is the two names that I really do care about here, uh, I guess three, but really two would be Jeff Johns and Greg Berlanti. Now, what does this mean? Well, first of all, anytime you have Jeff Johns behind a comic book property, especially more so TV, I have to just, I have to put my hands in the air and say, okay, man, you, you've won, you've done it, because especially with TV, it just just based off what we've seen on Arrow and Flash and Supergirl and Legends, at least at this point, right, in DC television, they are going full-blown comic book, and I have to applaud them for that, and partially, actually, I shouldn't, I, I should, I shouldn't say partially, because it's like mainly due to Jeff Johns and, and his influence on comic books and his influence on writing television and writing The Flash and all of this, right? So when you put him fully behind the steering wheel for at least the writing portion of Teen Titans, of a Teen Titans TV series. I Again, I have to, hands are in the air, right? And maybe he doesn't work the best with Ben Affleck on the Batman, but hey, I, I have full faith that he's going to knock this out of the park. Cannot wait for that. The other piece of information would be, of course, Greg Berlanti. No, uh, you, you're probably thinking, hey, where have I heard that name before? It's because he literally is the reason why DC TV is a thing. Now, while Jeff Johns had all the great influence on the comics and on the writing, Greg Berlanti came here and he's like, all right, I'm going to Kevin Feige this thing. Let's make this happen. And we got Arrow and then we got The Flash and then we got Legends and Supergirl together. Uh, and now we're going to be getting Black Lightning. He's also doing Riverdale. That shows so good you gotta check that out and he did some other things and some other networks he's gonna be doing the booster gold and blue beetle movie whenever dc gets around to doing that i wouldn't be surprised if they announce it soon i guess or whatever uh he's got some other things he's doing and now he's producing this so the big question is everyone's asking everyone's wondering is this teen titans tv show this live action one will it be in the same universe as flash and arrow and legends and supergirl and all of it well, the, 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 the simple answer for me here uh, is a, a solid yes. Now, when I say yes, I don't necessarily mean it's going to exist on Earth-1. Because at this point in the DC TV universe, there are multiple, multiple Earths. Multiple. So many Earths. Almost infinite, if you will. So, because of that, because of that, there are infinite possibilities to do Titans on another Earth. Hey, look, I, I would, I think that it would work perfectly on Earth One, uh, especially because you have characters like Kid Flash, you have characters like Roy Harper or Artemis already lined up for you. Uh, and also, characters like Beast Boy, Starfire, and Cyborg are not hard to pull off. Plus, we've heard mo on multiple occasions uh, the inclusion of Bloodhaven, because we, we know that's a real city in this world. So because of all of that, I, I say, why not put it on Earth-1? It would make logical sense, and then you could use like Kid Flash and all that, and then you could like decrease the amount of speedsters on the Flash. It would make the most sense, because you know you don't want too many speedsters, and... Well, I love Wally. I, I kind of want them to focus a little bit more on Barry for some reason. I don't know. Maybe not. I, maybe I'm being weird about it. Whatever. The bottom line is I'd love to see Kid Flash in a Teen Titans TV series. 
But uh, I could easily see them putting this in in this uh, you know in the multiverse on a different Earth where they mention cities like Central City and all of that, right? But at the same time, when they can use Gotham and when they can refer to Batman, because while there are a ton of ways to not you know reference Batman or Robin or any of Nightwing's you know Dick Grayson's previous history as a vigilante or a vigilante sidekick, there are a lot of ways to completely avoid that and just you know, make it, hey, this is Bloodhaven, this is a man named Dick Grayson, now he's Nightwing, now he's leading these group of superhero teenagers. You could do that. But I think they could have more fun with the Nightwing character. They could have more fun with his backstory if they decide to go a route on a different Earth where Gotham does exist and the Batman and Robin, they do exist. So, hey, look, I don't I don't know. Uh, but, of course, another big character they could use in, in this would be Deathstroke. Now, from rumors that we've heard, uh, the way the Arrow season finale will end this season is with Deathstroke actually escaping. Do I know if this is legitimately going to happen? No, I have not seen the Arrow Season 5 finale. I did some predictions for it a couple videos ago. But it would make sense because I think they should let the Deathstroke character run loose around the world. So again... Of course, I'd say Deathstroke's probably the Titans' biggest villain. Or Trigon, and that's another thing I do want to mention. So far, while these characters haven't officially, officially been confirmed, the only one that has officially, officially been confirmed is Nightwing. The two characters that are heavily rumored, and these are heavy rumors here, uh, are Starfire and Raven. Now, Raven, to me, deserves a spot on the Legends team, on Arrow. The character of Raven, you can do so much live-action-wise, especially, you know, in a way, like, I know, like, Marvel and DC, they're they're all good buddies, but when Cloak and Dagger are doing stuff, and, you know, while the when that show can, you know, be very similar in a way to Teen Titans, I know that that's kind of weird, but it very well could be. The character of Cloak has similar-ish ish i guess type powers to raven and i feel like raven to me could blow away cloak and i want to see that capability i kind of want to see that mysticism mixed in with a whole big group of reality uh cyborg would be interesting but at the same time I haven't even been able to fully see how they're going to handle Cyborg in the movies. And because of that, I'd be a little skeptical for them to just full-blown, flat-on confirm Cyborg for the the, uh, TV series. Because I just don't know how the Cyborg character will work live-action-wise. I think there's a lot of other alternatives like Hawk and Dove who are great characters and uh, fun characters also. Uh, Wonder Girl, another interesting character, but of course, you know, a little bit more on the side of, you know, Wonder Woman. You have to introduce Wonder Woman for that. Uh, And of course, of course, of course, a big one would be Jaime Reyes, the Blue Beetle. And I'm a big fan of him. I think everyone is. I think everyone would love to see Blue Beetle. Uh, But I'm expecting the lineup to actually be very similar to the uh, uh, the uh, Teen Titans Go t- TV series. I'm going to go with Nightwing as the leader, Starfire, Raven, definitely Beast Boy. They would have a massive missed opportunity if they decided not to use Beast Boy. So yeah, Beast Boy. Uh, I say for sure Kid Flash, the one from The Flash. And uh, the only, I think that would be the main five, the, you know, the, the core group. Um, but I, if you were to do another one, uh, I would say it would have to be an archer. Just, uh, of course, if this is on Earth 1, I don't see how they couldn't, they wouldn't use Speedy or Arsenal uh, or Artemis. You know, those are three sidekick archers that very well could be part of this team. And I wouldn't mind if any of them were on the team. Uh, I'd say probably the least likely would be Arsenal because I just think Roy, or the actor who plays Roy is a little bit done at this point, um, but definitely depending on how uh, you know the Artemis character finishes off in the finale of Arrow, I would love to see her kind of have a redemption arc. I think that'd be interesting. Uh, we'll see what happens. I think it'd be a missed opportunity to not put it on, or it'd be a missed opportunity to not put it on Earth One. But uh, I don't think this new Black Lightning TV show is going to be on Earth One. It'll probably be on like Earth, you know, Seven or whatever. And then they'll they'll bring him over from a different Earth. So even if it's not on Earth One, very much expect there to be a humongousaurus. Humongousaurus. If that's a dinosaur, it, it'd be a large one. It, that size. That's going to be a big crossover between Teen Titans and the Flash and Arrow and Legends and Supergirl and Black Lightning. And you know they'll probably announce some. I don't know a different TV show. 
Who knows? Who knows at this point? But really fun, really cool news. You guys can let me know your thoughts and theories on what the lineup or roster could be or will be. Very exciting stuff. And of course, I just want to throw this in here and mention it. Uh, they did confirm the title, or at least a a you know tentative title, which I'm pretty sure they're going to stick with it for Young Justice Season 3. And that is actually going to be Young Justice Outsiders. So... Uh, I'm not too familiar with the Outsiders comic book. Uh, if I was, I would do. Mo- I would talk more about it. Bottom line is they're they're moving ahead, you know, really fast, and they are confirming, you know, past voice actors from Young Justice to come back. So I, I have full faith that they're going to knock it out once more. Cannot wait for it. Uh, and of course, just all together. This new Teen Titans series and Young Justice Outsiders will be premiering, in, uh, I believe, as far as we know, tentatively in summer 2018 on a, uh, basically Warner Brothers and DC's very own Netflix-type platforming where they're going to be putting all of their shows up, you know, after the season's run. Uh, but these shows, Titans and Young Justice Outsiders, are going to be straight to digital, you know, platforming, whatever the, the, it's called, okay? I don't know the terminology, whatever. It's going to the streaming service that DC and Warner Brothers are setting up. Now, uh, I don't know if DC's going to eventually put, you know, their Vixen series on there or if they're going to play put the Ray series on there or if they're going to put, you know, some of their DC animated movies movies or if they're going to put, you know, past seasons of The Flash or Arrow or maybe even Smallville. I have no idea, but uh, it's something to keep your eye out for. I do not know if it's going to be paid for a paid for service. It very well could be. So, hey, you know, get get your checkbooks out, get get some, you know, spare cash, spare change, get it saved up. I don't know when they're going to be announcing this thing, but uh, if you want Netflix and Hulu and all these big things, I suggest Crack that piggy bank and, uh, or, I don't know, do something. It's, it's gonna be, it'll be some time and, uh, it's gonna be very interesting. 2018 is going to be a huge year for comic books once again in comic book movies and television. Let me know your thoughts on Young Justice Season 3, the Titans TV series. And this new kind of weird uh, Netflix-type DC platform, is this a good idea? And will you be paying for it if it is a paid-for thing? It may not be. It could be free. And, you know, better yet, right? I, I, I like free stuff, and I'm sure you do as well. Thank you so much for watching. And, of course, this summer we will be talking all about Teen Titans, The Flash, and Arrow, and Legends, and Supergirl, and Black Lightning. And, again, once more, whatever else DC decides to announce. So, if you're a big DC fan, I highly suggest you click that subscribe button. We'll be having a good time. Thanks so much for watching, and I'm Ryder, signing off with infinite attitude, and keep riding, guys. Bye!